Blaine Stewart. I'm Terry Stewart. We are the owners of Carrie Cami. Just a quick introduction, Terry is the owner, she is the designer and the inventor of Carrie Cami. She has degrees in clothing, textiles, and design. And Blaine is, um, is the other owner of Carrie Cami, and he has been in audio, video, post-production and production for over 35 years. Terry noticed something years ago, and it's in newspaper articles all over the place, women's pockets. They're <laughs> they are not functional, they are decorative, and we see it everywhere. Everywhere you go, you got a woman with a, a phone the size of a laptop sticking out of their <laughs> rear pocket, and they think that looks attractive after spending hours and hours at the gym trying to look nice back there. Instead, it looks like a big square thing. So <laughs> Terry came up with a very simple solution called the carry cami. Yes, thank you. And the carry cami is a, a camisole for women that is convenient and stylish, a way for all women to carry cell phones, credit cards. Um, I carry, um, we, went, we did use a passport. I used a passport in my carry cami once. It was great. But you can put keys, um, anything that you basically need to carry all the time. And this is what it looks like. Would you hold this for one? Sure. Yep. This is, uh, I wear one every day. I have for five years, sorry. So my phone is always in the, the right. And on this side, I have my, my credit card, my um, business cards, mints, just various things that I need for that day. And here's an example of the carry cami in action, hopefully. It will play. It didn't play. But anyways, uh, the <laughs> video there, maybe it'll play. Anyways, it's, it's very easy to use. It's, uh, we have two women there. I wish they would move, but they're not going to. <laughs> oh, well. That's how, how things go. But anyways, it's especially exceptional for use in, um, with insulin pumps. We have a lot of women who are diabetics who have to carry an insulin pump. They have to have a, there's no way for women to carry that. They have to have a tubing that goes to their body and uh, with the pockets it makes it very easy to do. It's, very, it's great for exercise and that sort of thing. Our great, we have marketing opportunities. We have 130 million women just in the U.S., 12 and over. 100% need to carry items. 94% have cell phones. And many, as I mentioned, need to carry insulin pumps. $40 billion plus are spent on women's clothing in the U.S. alone each year. Some of the great successes we have had in the few years that we've been selling online, our online conversion rate is anywhere from five to almost eight percent, which is very exceptional for an online store of this type. Uh, and here's the exciting thing, our return customer rate. In 2018, it was almost 11 percent. By 2019, we're over 18 percent return customers. We have people coming back for their seventh, eighth, ninth order, buying many carry camis as gifts and, uh, of course, for themselves. I mean, I Go ahead. say something Sorry. right here. These women are our friends. It's, this is so amazing, and this is my favorite part. When we wrap, we put, I put a little note, and the people, the women, email us, and they say, hi, Terry, hi, Blake. Anyway, it's so wonderful because they are our friends, and we are helping them, and they realize it. So yeah. uh, that's the part that I love. Yeah, Terry does all the nice stuff. I do all the numbers. So, <laughs> so that's why I, I guess am. you can see that. Carry Cami is available now. We sell mainly online at CARICAMI.com. We're in over 50 stores nationwide and in Canada. Uh, we sell at women's and travel expos. Travel expos, it's big sales there. And amazingly, which is tough to do, we're Walmart and Sam's Club approved vendors for the Sam's Club showcase sales. Uh, our current marketing, we have paid ads on Google and Facebook. We run TV spots that do, do really well. We air those during women interest programs. Terry's been on uh, TV shows, women interest programs there. And of course, we mentioned the special interest expos. Here's the other exciting thing. When we're selling online, they sell for $27.95. 
The average customer does not buy one. Our average order is 2.3, over two, two uh, sales per order. And that's about it. Some of the challenges that we're facing right now is, of course, we have our own special expertise. It is not great in marketing, so we would like help with marketing uh, ideas there. We could use funding for marketing. Marketing is very expensive, running TV commercials, that sort of thing, TV appearances. And then the other thing is just uh, funding to keep our inventory up. Some of the challenges we've had is with our inventory, of course, we were getting things out of China, not going well there. But maybe if you have questions about uh, uh, acquisition of product, I can answer those kind of things. But we'd like to turn the time over to you right now for any questions you may have. I love the idea. I think it's incredible. Um, well, thank you. What other revenue streams do you guys have? What other, I'm sorry? Revenue streams. You mean besides the online? Mm -hmm. Well, we're in 50 stores. What we do, we go uh, twice a year, and it was canceled this year because of the uh, pandemic, uh, to what's called Women's Wear in Nevada. It, two weeks out of the year, uh, Las Vegas hosts a bunch of wholesale uh, conventions. And one of them is Women's Wear in Nevada. There's another one called Magic, et cetera, et cetera. And we go to those twice a year. At that point, what that is for, we have our booth and we have uh, various stores that come and buy our product wholesale, wholesale there, and then they make additional orders. So that's another revenue stream. Again, we like to go to the expos. It's a product that sells best using a video. So if you go to our store online, you'll see a demonstration of the video. And again, what Terry does at the shows, whether it's an expo or at Win in Las Vegas, it's a wow factor. People look at it and go, I don't need another T-shirt. Why do I need a T-shirt, you know? But then Terry does this. I can just get my phone out. Now that, well, what happens is I have it. I can't do this with two hands. I have my, thank you. I have to have two hands to do it. I'm not, I don't have a purse ever. So I just have to do this and get my phone and then I'm done. And nobody knows, it's kind of fast, so nobody knows where it came from. This was very effective when we were on, um, on a, in, the, in Europe, and we had heard and had been told that there was a lot of stealing and pickpocketing and stuff. So we got a lot of our, the people on the tour to wear carry camis, and none of those people had anything stolen. Other people did, but no one who had a carry cami Stolen. Yeah, I don't know if that answers your question. We kind of got off, off in a tangent. It does, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What we'd really like to do is increase that online sales. And we do the fulfillment now. We would like to be so big, we just can't do that <laughs> fulfillment on our own kind of thing. So. My question is, can you tuck them into your pants? Because all my girls tuck their shirts in. I How don't. does that work? I don't. I, um, in fact, they, it doesn't work well with a dress. I wear skirts and tops and pants and shirts because it doesn't, it doesn't work with the um, tucked in. What, what we find is women, once they get addicted to these, and they are because it becomes just a habit to reach for whatever you need here, that kind of thing. What we find is women start to modify their clothes to accommodate the carry cami. And, and they'll go to buy and they'll go, they've told us this, these are emails we have or at the shows that we're at. They just say, you know, when I'm at the store buying clothes, it, if it's not carry cami friendly, it's not on my list. So. <laughs> so I have a question for you. Um, have you seen uh, carry camis be uh, super successful in certain geographies? Like where, where, where are you finding most of the people are that, you, that are purchasing? Most of our sales are up and down through Utah because we're in Utah. And it's weird because I think our best salesmen are our customers. Definitely. And I would say 30, well, I wouldn't say it's that high. It's actually dropped as it's spread throughout the country. But our best, so we, what will happen to answer that question, we will find 
we sell several camisoles in a certain area of Texas. And all of a sudden, over the next several months, we'll get a bunch of orders out of Texas in that area, which is exciting. That's a good thing. Um, our demographics we found are mostly women 35 and older. Younger women tend to have to have name brand type things. And that's what we like to do. We like to have carry cami be name brand. Do you have your carry cami? Oh, no. Yeah. Well, you're just not with it kind of attitude, <laughs> you know. We'd like it to be that. We'd like, you know, and that's part of the marketing and getting that word out there. But that's mostly women we find 35 and older are more open to not well, having name brand. Sorry. Yeah, and they've lived longer, of course. So they know that purses, you get neck pain, uh, the things that purses cause, plus they've dropped stuff, left their purse somewhere. I, I just think that women that are older appreciate it more. Though I, I do have, a we, we do have teenagers and the children of the women that wear them they wear them because mostly I think the moms made them wear them first because they're paying for the phones that are getting lost and broken and so they kind of say you are wearing one and then they love them and then they buy more and then they buy them for their friends and it's great That's and actually great. our Google ads are aimed at 35 and over you know I, you know when you set up your Google you you know you the certain demographic and that definitely seems to work um, I think uh, we get, again, most of those conversion numbers are from g people being driven there through Google ads. Um, was there another question along those lines? I was trying to think. Something came into my mind and left. Blaine uh, and Terry, there's a question um, on our Facebook Live. Okay. It comes from Morgan, and he says, what a cool product. Have you had success with viral fun type marketing videos that push sales? Uh, say that again. I'm sorry. Have you had fun with, or success with fun viral type oh. marketing videos that push sales? No, and because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> That's kind of why we're here. We're hoping to get that kind of mentorship. Uh, if somebody has ideas along those lines. Again, going back to what our background is, I do work in television. I've made, I don't know how many television commercials for I go clear back to Sears commercials back in the 80s, that kind of thing. But I'm not on the actual marketing side of that. I know how to do it. If you go to our website, I, do, I shot the video and I put that together. But when it comes to this type of marketing expertise, this is where we need help. So when wow. you use those kinds of terms, that, that's, that sounds cool, <laughs> but I don't know how to do it. Well, and I, we should say, I just want to say, I guess, we, this company is, we started it. Mm -hmm. Blaine thought the idea was good. Our daughters loved it, so they were wearing them, and their friends liked it. That ha that's how it started. So the people on the video, those are our children. Blaine makes the video. I make the product. It's kind of been family, but now we have to step up and um, need to grow do, it. We need to scale things up. Yeah. We need help knowing how to do that exactly. And I... Just by those words, I'm saying, that's the kind of help we need. But <laughs> now how do you do that? Morgan has some expertise in that area, too. So okay. I'm sure he'll be reaching out. He wants to chat with you about that, he says. OK. okay. Um, and your video that you have put out there, I, we, I have seen it before, for those of, the, of you who didn't tune in. If they want to go to the website, they can see that video. Yes. It does a great job showing the functionality and the different types of mm -hmm. places that you can, why you would wear this mm -hmm. yeah. on a day-to-day. -day. And you can search it. It's on YouTube as well. There's several different versions, the 30-second, the 60-second, which is what we air on TV. And then the, the, um, the one that's online is a minute and 40 because it's a little more extensive, shows a little more of the, how to use the product. Morgan will be getting with you. OK, good. That's great. If any of you have ideas, we would appreciate it, seriously. We've been, uh, we're totally debt free. We've uh, basically funded this entire thing out of our own pocket and we've, because I own another company, the, uh, my audio post-production, I do a show by the way called Bitch and Rides, which is I'm sure everybody's favorite show. It's actually the top rated <laughs> network show on uh, Motor Trend channel, if you see that, it's a discovery network. Um, that's my expertise. And mine 
is being a mom. So. We have seven children, and that's where my, that's, that's what I And do. actually, well, no. <laughs> well, quite frankly, the product that she's done, she is incredibly picky about it. And if you look at that and say twenty-seven ninety-five for a camisole, that's ridiculous. No, it's not, because the quality that we demand from our manufacturers, they're expensive. We don't get them cheap. We don't get them for a buck fifty and sell them at Walmart for a buck seventy-five. That's the you know, in order to stand up to the usage that they have to have to have, and um, they oh, have to be say. well made. And again, Terry. I kind of, I'm not that picky, but she'll be going through each one. Oh, I don't like this sewing. This company stinks, you know, that kind of thing. We got to send them an email about this. So she's very picky about the quality. And well, she sees it. I go, looks good to me. So. <laughs> I do, I do. I, I am kind of picky. But uh, when I designed it, I needed some tummy help. And so it is snug. That's on purpose. Not only does it help with your tummy, but it holds the phone so it's not wobbling around in there. So it's kind of snug, which I like. Uh, some women that come through, like when we're doing an expo, they say, well, it's going to make me look fat. I already have a stomach there. It's going to make me look fat. Well, it really doesn't. And I, I don't know. I, I don't want to show on TV or whoever's watching this, I don't want them to say. But I do. I have tummy difficulties, and so I need that. But it's very helpful on, uh, in, <laughs> in fashion. It helps with the fashion and it doesn't look dowdy or, you know, it looks nice. In fact, uh, if, well, I couldn't get that video to play, it's still on this thing here, but it goes to one of our daughters who's very slim, model type. She was actually Miss Provo at one point, but she's wearing a very tight blouse with it you can't see. You can't even see her phone that's underneath there. I don't know if that yeah, will Yeah, if you look at the commercial, and, and uh, we have, I have things that help with that. Like if you are wearing multicolored things, you can't see it. They're just tricks, if that's a problem. I was trying to get it to play, but it doesn't look like it's going to play. But yeah, and, and the, the key, by the way, to wearing a tight-fitting blouse and having it not show is it's patterned. And, uh, you know, we, I kind of say to women sometimes, not when within their hearing, if they're complaining, oh, I've already got a stomach that sticks out. Well, if adding a quarter inch thick cell phone down here causes a problem, you got worse. <laughs> the funny thing is we've had heavier ladies who wear them and they love them. And because actually you can't see it, you can kind of see here, but the everything sits down low behold, be, below the hips, so if you do have a little bit of a belly, it's below that, and it works good. Well said, and he can do that because we're married. <laughs> it's okay. So. <laughs> so. Anything else? Yeah, we have one question that we love to ask all people that come and present here at 1MC, and I think we, we talked about some already with the video, so if there's anything else you want to add there or not, but the, the question always is, is what can the 1MC community do for you? Oh. I'm just, we're really looking, I, I, I kind of mentioned it, really because we are funding this out of our own pocket, we would really like to find somebody who's interesting to join with us. In, we've avoided a debt, like I've said, we've had family and friends offer to invest but if they don't bring something to the par party besides money, that's not that helpful. We need an infusion of investment money, but expertise to come along with that. Marketing expertise, but as well as business expertise. Um, I've owned a business now for 20 years, but it's been me, Terry, and a few small employees. I would not consider myself a business expert for a large corporation with 200 people doing fulfillment or something. You know what I'm saying? And I know enough and I'm mature enough, I guess, and have been around the long enough to say, um, uh, I'm not gonna hang myself trying to do that. And I wouldn't take funny money from somebody to just throw away thinking that I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't, uh, may, I, uh, maybe I'm coming off like an idiot or some, <laughs> but I'm trying to be more humble than 
uh, sometimes what I see. Because I've been, I've been in business. I was down in Hollywood for 25 years working for many, many different studios. And some took off and did great, and I'm sorry, but a lot of them went under. And I'm not sure exactly what, but most of the time it was management problems, I'm sorry. And so without those skills myself personally, I don't feel comfortable taking funds from people and then squandering them. I want, well, I want it to be successful, sorry. We wouldn't squander them, but... Uh, well, we it, it would be that way if, if I was doing it. So. Oh, well, <laughs> so whatever. We, we don't, we would love, this is what I had been thinking, because I don't know anything. So I thought, well, we could have someone be our sales rep, and then they would get a percentage of whatever they brought in. That's all I know about sales, that's it. And I, I have gone to companies, and I've shown my product, I've made appointments, I've done things like that, but I'm, I'm just not good at selling. So that is what we need. And I think also we just need people who, well, this is what prompted me lately, is oh, I saw a commercial. And it was for a product that was, the commercial was like almost word for word our commercial. And the product was similar to ours, but not quite. So what had happened is somebody had It was seen, actually a purse. Yeah, so. but it was a purse that is a big long purse and then it had your phone in it and you could, anyway, I don't want to talk about another product. But um, anyway, it, it's a purse, which I'm, I don't want. So we, that's not a problem. But the thing is, somebody knew that there's a problem and women need stuff. And I, we've been working on it so long just quietly under here, that nobody knows that's what we've done. And, and I don't think people would know that we thought of it before those people thought of it. So I just want, I just think we're losing time, and I just want to get it out there so people know there's a better thing. Yeah. That's, that's my thing. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Yeah.